all, this is Audra Hicks, your Tennessee Realtor. I'm going to be talking about down payments today. So please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I put the real in real estate. So let's talk down payments. Um, when you are going to go purchase a home, you uh, I wanted to go over some of the things that you might need to know when um, you are purchasing a home. Uh, some people think that if they're doing a conventional loan, that they have to put down 20%. That is not the case. Conventional, you can put down as low as 5%. Um, you can do 10%, 15, 20, whatever it may be that you come up with with the lender. But just know what kind of budget you have in mind. My clients, I like to see, let's play with the down payment. And if you have enough for your down payment and closing cost already, um, and you are looking for a certain monthly budget, um, let's go off your monthly budget and see what, um, you know, for your payment wise, um, that includes your, um, principal and taxes and insurance all combined together. So you have your escrows in there whenever you have a loan on your home. Um, so if you know that you are used to spending just easy math, 2,500 a month for, and that's comfortable to you. Let's stay in that budget or under if we can. Let's see what we can do in that price range, what we can get in a certain price range for that monthly budget. If you feel that you can do 3000 and live comfortably, because I do not ever want my clients to get in a home where they're going to feel house poor and they can't afford it or whatever, they need to feel comfortable. Uh, so a lot of times people are just looking only at the interest rate these days. But as you know, those change. They go up, they go down. We have recently seen them go down. So um, we will um, probably see what they say is about five or six other um, times for interest rates to go down this year. We will see. I don't have that crystal ball to say, hey, they're going to really, ha it's going to happen. Um, but. If they do, it's it's we're in like a sweet spot right now for buying in here in this area because we can still get in a home without having to overpay for the home. But if they continue to go down, that puts more buyers out there on the market. If we don't have enough houses for those buyers, then that puts those buyers having to, um, like they did a couple of years ago, overpay for a home, um, you know, to, to win the the bid. Um, I go over things with my clients. I love to have a buyer's consultation up front at my office. Let's go over everything. So I feel comfortable when we find the one, what we can do as far as an offer, how we can strategically make that offer be good to stand out among the rest and try to, if that is the home and they think that's the one, we need to put our best foot forward at that time. So what you need to do up front is um, look at your monthly budget, what you want to do. You know, the lender is going to say, okay, you can afford a $450,000 $450, house. Well, you might, might not think so. Uh, but let's look at what that lender says that monthly payment's going to be. That's what I like to look at. If you like a certain monthly payment, let's make sure that we can get that that house at that said it, we'll just go searching for that kind of house in instead of a 450 it might be a four hundred thousand dollar house if at that time you don't find anything you like at 400 and everything's in the 450 range then you have to make that decision on your own and figure out if you can go up on your budget but as interest rates are going down um that means that um you can probably afford more house at that point for the same type of money so um you know it, you'll end up being approved for more house where uh right now 
if it's 6.6 .6 or 6 or whatever it may be an in interest rate and you qualify for a $400,000 house, you may qualify for a $425,000 house if it goes down or a 450. Who knows? You know, that's a lender question. And um, so I try to stay in my lane, but I do understand all the other things too to do with our industry so that I know um, how to better serve my clients and stuff. So I keep up to date with lending and, and all kinds of stuff. So um, that way I, I know at least how to help you and let's strategically uh, get through this. So um, have you saved any money for your down payment or are we going to need to do a loan, look at doing a loan that is going to help you with down payment assistance or maybe a closing cost? Are we going to have to ask for closing costs um, to get us to the closing table? Um, so things like that, you, we need, I need to know that up front. Um, and then how long are you going to stay in the house? Let's look for, is this going to be your forever home? Is this your first home? First homes, you probably won't stay in forever. So we are going to need to know, um, you know, that on the front end. If you think that this is going to be your starting point, like I say to all my first time home buyers, let's get in a home, not necessarily everything that you want in your forever home, but get in a home that you're going to build equity in it in a year, two years, five years, whatever it may be, where life leads you, you never know, um, then you can sell it and cash in on your equity and let's move up in house at that point. So, but a lot of people don't understand what kind of down payment that they need. Um, let's talk down payments. That's what this was about too, but I get off tangent a little bit on, you know, because it has to deal with the whole package here. So, if you can um, uh, go into a loan uh, and have three percent, three and a half percent down, that's one. You know, your FHA's are three and a half. We do have USDA loans and THDA down payment assistance uh, that help you with your down payment. Sometimes it might help you with some of your closing costs, whatever. That's a that is uh, something that we would. Our lender would have to look at and see what you qualify for. Um, and let's see, you can do conventional, like I said, down to, you know, your 5%, um, where if, you know, you don't want to drain all of your, you have 20% down, but you don't want to drain all of that and keep some in savings or keep it in the bank, or you might need moving expenses or upfront things or whatever it may be, you need to have you a, a sweet cushion in there instead of draining all of it to put it down um, look at the numbers and see what the monthly uh, what it's going to cost you monthly versus putting five percent down versus 10 15 20 percent down um, on conventional once you get to that 20 percent equity then you can have them remove that um, if it don't automatically come off at that time you can always call and get that removed um, I think they have to do an appraisal or whatever to make sure of that. Um, and then, or in this market, you might see in two, three, four, five, six months from now, interest rates go down. If they go down a point or two points or whatever it may be, you may decide to go ahead and refi at that point. So as long as you haven't drained all your savings on the front end, then, um, you know, you still have money in the bank as well. Um, so you can let, you can get in a home with less down payment, keep money in the bank and, you know, refi once the rates go down. We may not see two and a half percent. That's what we have on our home is two and a half percent. We may not see that for a while or if ever, we don't know. Um, but you know, we may see the fives this year is what they're projecting. So, or 5%. So at that time, you look at it and you see if that's going to benefit you and how much it's going to save you per month. So call your lender uh, when they do. Call me after the sale and I'll get you back in touch with them or whatever. Or you can 
you know, call me anytime. My, I'm a concierge to my clients even after the sale, and they know that they can call me and and ask me anything afterwards. I have had a busy weekend of uh, past clients calling me to either sell or buy or whatever. The market is heating up in our area, which is a good thing. Buyers are starting to get their spring fever, and since rates have come down and then there are options of buying it down and things like that, they're going ahead and starting the process of buying uh, so have one this morning, um, tried to do a three-way call. It kept disconnecting us all. So the lender's just getting with them right now. And then I'm going to be calling them back here shortly. So, um, we are starting to see the market move. All of my listings over the weekend have had action of some kind on them. Um, and, um, then I've met another new buyer that's going to get out there and start looking soon. Um, and, um, met them at the office, past clients, and now I have met the whole entire family and helped the whole entire family um, look at buying homes. So that makes my heart happy. I love repeat clients and referrals and all of that. So I uh, just wanted to get on here today and tell y'all that you don't have to have 20% down. Um, you know, you have um, down payment assistance loans. There are 3.5% down, 5% or whatever it may be. So, um, that way it doesn't scare you and you kind of know up front some of the options that you have for down payments. So hopefully this was helpful today. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friends. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.